uh, Justin Pratt here. Bro, I got second place at my locals today. Give me a deck profile on my Cosmo deck. First off, I run one Honest, um, one Jarragetto. The reason I run them this way is because you don't you run darks in the deck, and a lot of times if you open up with too many darks and Honest, it's just terrible. I run one Strawman. It's really key in late game or uh, middle of the game. I don't think you need to run more than one because it's foggy. Self-explanatory. Three babes of the deck. Um, three Wicked Witch. Um, thinking about cutting this to two, just because I've seen it a lot today, more than what I wanted to, and also it was kind of inconsistent with the fact that I run two of this, but you have to run two of this. Uh, whenever you're like the, this, absolutely blows out the mirror match nine times out of ten. How often do you expect to see the mirror match? Um, once every two to three games. Uh, three slip rider because Pei Pei, I mean, hitting this against Pei Pei, as long as they don't use pendulum call, is very versatile. Um, the one dog fighter, only it's it's really just to stall and trickle down the ladder. From five all the way down, just um, two forerunner. It's not as important as it used to be in the deck, and gaining a thousand is kind of cool, and it could save you games. And the MVP of the deck, three dark destroyer, self-explanatory. Uh, one regicky, one allure of darkness. How many dark cards do you have? Uh, I think I only have three, four, seven right now, which I only have five in the, or six here pretty soon. Um, two Space Typhoon. Uh, three Reasoning. Uh, I decided, I decided this over Kaiser Coliseum because late game, late game it's really, it's, like if I top deck into a Kaiser Coliseum, I lose. If I'm top decking, if I top deck in this, I could possibly win the game. Uh, three Telly, self explanatory. Three towns. And I run a very small trap lineup, but I'm thinking about changing some of it. One Vanities, one Solemn, one Torrential, two Breakthrough Skills, and two Top Space. This absolutely blows out the mirror match if you hit their big spaceships. Uh, this is supposed to be a Commander Tech Fortress Dragon. We gotta get one. There's another one. Uh, 101. Can I ask what you have the Commander Techs for? Uh, the Mirror Match. Um, it absolutely blows out the Mirror Match if they have a couple big ships on the field. If I go into this, when I side in my Cyber Dragon, or okay. Cyber Cores. So this, is this technically your side, or is that still your extra deck? Um, I mean, we have so much room in the... Extra deck. So it's not a stuff extra yeah. deck. Yeah. It's just like a lot of this I don't even use. Like this, this is just there just in case I run into a problem with like three e tailors or something. Somebody like damage jugulars me. Like if they double damage jugular, I can save my farm girls from dying. Uh, one Heartland, because you run uh, Cosmo Town. Uh, one Abyss Dweller, Cowboy, Castell, uh, XYZ Dragon. Like these are the only things I hardly ever go into. Uh, Volcanosaurus and Castell. That's Pallades. Oh, Pallades, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> um, really don't use these, they're just there for options. I use this to attack for game if I use Volt. And one uh, uh, number 11, just in case I need to take something. <laughs> hardly ever happens, but you never know. Uh, two for Cyber Dragon for the side deck. Um, I'm about to add one core to this because uh, you, ha in my opinion, if you have a field, you need the the normal summon instead of the special. Uh, this is just for rogue rogue matches, based on death spots and stuff. What you get against spots? <laughs> Nothing. They're just a pain sometimes. Uh, the extra space dark hole for Pepe. This is also rogue or 
Sometimes it's good against Pepe, not all the time. I'm only running one of this. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about this. I might take it out. Uh, two Roll Decree because we don't run that many traps. Two Fairy Wind for Pepe. And two Grand Horn of Heaven for Pepe. <laughs> and the only thing that's going to be changed here really soon is the Honest is coming out for a second year ago. And I'm going to cut down the Wicked Witch and put something else in and probably change up the traps a little bit to make it more consistent. Besides that, I really love, love the deck. Okay. Alright, so here's a test hand. That's pretty decent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, this is pretty much a pot of greed at this point because you activate Cosmotown, activate a Lure Darkness, draw two. Banish the Dark Destroyer. Effect of Cosmo Town, add the Dark Destroyer. You will banish? Yeah, you pay 800 life points and. I thought it was just a uh, graveyard that's awesome. That's yeah. No longer so good. <laughs> yeah. Um, eat Telly out for Farm Girl. I mean, if I'm going second, this is. I, I, I should win this game. There's no way I shouldn't win this game. Because the Slip Rider pops my own Cosmo Town act. And uh, I get a search. Let's see. I would go Italy. Farm Girl. Farm Girl effect. Some Slip Rider. Slip Rider effect. Hit Cosmo Town. She gets banished. Search out. And Wicked Witch. If, if they have a clear field, I should win this. Because normal summer. Uh, swing. Swing. Effect. Summer. Effect to pop this. His effect. Summon. Good witch. Good witch swing. Effect a good witch. Summon destroyer. Destroyer effect. Destroy destroyer. Some of this guy swing. It's yeah, a whole lot yeah. Of yeah, it's it's dumb. This deck, this deck is just dumb in general. The fact that they just do all that in the battle phase. The fact that they're all quick plays. Yeah. Ah, well, this has been Knockout Films. This has been Justin Pratt's second place combo. You taking the regionals? Yes, as soon as I fix it. I got a few tweaks and I'm ready. Okay, uh, we're gonna upload this after region, so we're gonna let you know what he made and uh, leave us a like or I will come tonight and kill you. Thank you.